Okay, this is gonna be a vlog called What Moms Do on Friday Nights. Are you helping me, Scott Morgan? What moms do on Friday nights. First, I have a Target haul. Cause Scout and I went on a little date today. We got lots of tampons. Then we got some cute Burt's Bees pajamas. And I got them in 2T. Or these ones are in 2T. Well, ladybugs and daisies. So we got obviously two pairs of those because I don't know if you know this, but I have two kids. And then we got these in 18 months. I'm a sucker for some tie-dye and it's green and blue tie-dye, so even better. My mom watched Violet today. She's gonna have something to say about me getting more pajamas. And I also got more pajamas. Oh, I went to Old Navy. Uh-oh, what happened? Valentine's Day heart jammies. I got these in 2T. Oh, thank you. Scout's gonna show us what we got. We got some jammies mac and cheese. We got one of these cool toys that I didn't really want to get, but it was keeping her busy while we were in Target. And, uh, oh, we want some raisins. You want Can I have your Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mom. We got some yogurt raisins that Scout loves. These puffs. Some freeze dried strawberry and mango. These pouches. And these disgusting things. We're almost out of detangler. This is the one I used. And then I got everything bagel. I needed A and D, is what I needed there. And they didn't have any A and D there. Like literally no A and D, like none. I just stocked up on like all of our typical snacks that they eat. I needed some more. Uh oh, that wasn't very good. These are your favorite like Z bars, the iced oatmeal cookie, and then Target has an iced oatmeal cookie one, so I got those both to try. Fruit strips, and they got some fruit snacks. We got lots of different kinds of our favorite pouches. Yummy. Good and Gather has yogurt pouches, so we got some of those. And then we just got some more pouches. And that's all we got from Target. What would you like? How come you dropped all of your raisins on the floor? Do you want a pouch? What do you say? Pouch, please. Close enough. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Thank you, Mama. Okay. It's like an hour later probably, and I put the babies to bed, and now we're gonna put all this away. You know what I need? I knew. I don't know what it is, but that is sprayed all over me. I think it's the weather, and like other stressful stuff that I'm dealing with, but I think the seasonal depression is hitting. Can you two buzz off, please? If I don't have kids sitting there staring at me, my dogs are literally just sitting there staring at me. <laughs> okay. They would not eat these fruit strips, but they love the fruit snacks. It's like, I'm gonna set these up in the bathroom later. I have a big project I have to do tonight. That's part of the reason why I'm so stressed. But... This is what we got. It's obviously the next day because I had an emotional meltdown last night and I have a pimple. I have pimples all over my face. I'm on right between my eyes, so that's nice. But I feel like I should put these in something else because I'm... They find them that bad Jesus, help me. There. Now they have some oxygen in the bowl. 
I was having a crisis last night. I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but I was having a crisis about these fish and it wasn't necessarily about the fish, but it was about my life in general. The only thing that stresses me out, I'm not really worried about the care. They're saltwater fish. I know I can handle that. What stresses me out is that I travel a lot and it, they are very easy, low maintenance fish, but what does stress me out is leaving a bunch of filters and stuff plugged in while I'm not here. Whenever I travel, I'm gonna have to get someone to come and make sure my house hasn't been burned down. But yeah, I have to set the tank up to make the salt water. So let's do that. And I don't have a great place to put this. Is it another issue? Because I have a place that I would like to put it, but the babies can reach it. This is my best bet, but yeah, the babies can. I don't think they can reach their hands into it. I haven't actually tested that out, but like they can knock on the glass, which isn't a big deal. And they're never in here unsupervised either. So I think that would be fine. This is so expensive. The good news is, if this is horrible, I have 30 days to take everything back and get my money back. Now I gotta wash all my, my substrate, my rocks, and my fake plants that I got. I just need to make water now. And I got like this, I'll show you, quick start so I can just, I don't have to run, because normally you have to run the filters for like 24 hours, but with this, you don't have to. And I got tap water conditioner because I'm not doing like reverse osmosis water. Now I'm going to add the salt. Cloudy. Now wait for the salt to settle. We're just going to test the salinity to see if it's even close. Just this little thing. It's like a science lesson for you guys. It's pretty good. Let's go in the kitchen and look at it. So it's pretty good. But we'll let it run for a little bit. Well, I don't think that the water noise is going to annoy me. But I was also kind of stressed about that, which like obviously normally water would make you not anxious. Trickling water at night, but I was like, oh, what if I hate it? And then I have 10 gallons of water trickling for the rest of my life and it's the sound of my nightmares. I think it'll be fine. I'm just anxious. Great way to go into the new year, you know? Okay, we'll see what happens next. Okay, I don't know what the last thing I recorded was, but I am going to continue this. And I know it was on New Year's Eve, and I know that I was filling up the fish tanks, but I don't remember what else happened. Or it was New Year's Day, actually. But we have the fish tank all set up, and I can't get too close to he'll swim away, but... Oh, see? He darted into his little tunnel that he likes. The other fish, unfortunately, died, but 
At least one's still living. I'm gonna turn this into another. So like that was like, what I do on New Year's Eve after I put the babies to bed. And this is what I do when the babies go to their dads for a weekend or on a weekend that the babies go to their dads. So right now I woke up, I fed them, I got them dressed. Then he picked them up and then I did a Q and A on my Instagram. I'm filming a home chef ad right now that I have to then send over to my editor. Then she's gonna do that for me. And I think I might have to post that today too, depending on how quickly she gets it done. But yeah, right now I am filming the Home Chef ad and I'm cutting up veggies. But I have errands to run today. I have to go to the post office and get stuff to film another ad for a different brand. So this weekend, my boyfriend's family, they don't get each other presents and they do like a little trip. And that's this weekend. So that is what my boyfriend and I are doing this weekend. And I have to go to the liquor store. I need to take my Christmas tree down and I wanna do it this weekend. I don't have any like storage for any of the decorations. So I should go and do that. I ordered a bunch of stuff to start my garden journey. I can start planting onions this month. So I need to go and pick out the onions that I wanna plant. What else do I need to do? My mom and my brothers are leaving tomorrow. So I think we might go to dinner with my mom tonight. One thing that I've learned from filming myself is that I have a horrible concentration face. Okay, here's how the soup turned out. It's actually really good. But um, the UPS man just got here. There. So we got all of our little seed starter trays. And then we got heat mat to put underneath them. My mom got Ziploc bags. And then this. I need to upload the footage for that ad quickly. Okay, those are uploading. Now let's try and set this up. I think I'm gonna put it right here and it's gonna make my boyfriend not happy, but we're still gonna do it. Ow, I already got a paper cut. <laughs> I'm gonna use my phone, but I just finished setting this up. And now I'm gonna go into town and get some seeds. I'm gonna get onion seeds because that's all I can plant right now. So we're gonna go get some onions. Okay, I just went to one store that like sells seeds, like seed store, like the plant store around here. And they didn't have seeds and she said they didn't think, she didn't think they were gonna have seeds until March. And then I went to Lowe's and they didn't have any seeds. I don't know, I could run out to Walmart, but I don't know if it's worth my time. I can't believe there's no seeds. I I mean, it is January, but like you can start planting some plants in January because it takes eight weeks. Like you can't put them in the ground for eight to 10 weeks. So yeah, I don't have anything else to do. So I might just run out to Walmart quickly and just check. But I just stopped at the liquor store because it's my boyfriend's mom's birthday. So I got her a couple bottles of wine that she likes. And yeah, I guess I'll just go to Walmart. Okay, it's the next day. I need to order a new battery for this camera. Oh my god look at that mess yikes i'm about to send him a little message about that anyways what time is it 8 26 i need to get stuff done today by stuff done i mean i'm going out of town tonight so i need to clean up this house so that it's not trash bin when i get back that's the one one thing that i need to do another thing i need to do is shower wash my hair because we're going out to a nice dinner tonight. So I'm actually going to do my hair so that I don't trigger people by just slicking it back because people do not like that on TikTok. But yeah, in general, my house is just a mess. Just a mess. And I'm so sick of it, but here we are. Oh, and I finished this shelf and then I went into town to look for seeds and literally nowhere has seeds. But I did ask on my Instagram story and you guys are all giving me very good suggestions for where to get seeds. And so I've been screenshotting all of those. Um, a girl also messaged me and offered, I think her family or something sells seeds and 
she sent me a link, so I might get some seeds from them. I literally still have like so many boxes from Christmas. Think of my shower and yours. <laughs> I'm sure this is what you want to see, but the baby's new thing is um, playing in this plant, and so I'm gonna vacuum that up quickly. <gasps> Babies love these toilets. They won't like actually try and use them, but every time I come in here and go pee pee, they always want to go pee pee with me. Okay, my washing machine is going crazy right now, but it should stop in a second. But trigger warning for literally everything I'm about to do because I know that everything that I do, as far as like beauty, people get annoyed with. But I got a PR package from Brooklyn and Bailey's brand a while ago and I haven't actually tried anything yet so I'm going to try this moisturizer. I obviously just got out of the shower and I haven't put anything on my face yet. I'm excited for this. I get so overwhelmed with PR stuff that I just like will put it somewhere and then just not even look at anything for a while but no smell which I like. That's probably what's best for your skin. It's the prebiotic gel moisturizer. My face gets so dry in the winter and I have like a bunch of like painful pimples all along my jawline and like all right here right now. I think it's because of the part of the cycle that I'm in right now, part of my menstrual cycle I'm in right now. They set these micro needle blemish packages. I'm just gonna open it and see what it is. I think they're like just little pimple packages. I kind of want to put it on this one because it hurts so bad. So there's that. I normally, normally for skincare, I use a bunch of drunk elephant stuff. They gave me a night serum too, I'm going to try that. It's nightly clarifying serum. And I'm just going to try it right now even though it's not nighttime. But I like to like put two things on my face because it's so dry right now. I love this packaging. It's really pretty. Oh, it's very creamy. I get really red, dry skin in the winter, and it doesn't help that I take like million degree showers, but the only time I'm ever warm is in the shower in the winter. I'm one of those people that's literally always freezing. I'm gonna show you what I use in the shower too. So today I wash my hair obviously, and I don't use this every time I wash my hair, but I have Olaplex, and I have the purple shampoo too. So I have the Olaplex, and I have this Amika, I think that's how you say it. And then I have just herbal essences. So I wash my hair every other day. I won't wash my hair and then on my first hair wash day, I'll use herbal essences. And then I won't wash my hair the next day and then the next time I wash my hair, I'll use the Amika stuff. And then I won't wash my hair and then the next time I'll use the Olaplex. So it's like every third time I'm using the Olaplex. I don't know why I do that, I just do. My hair is so bad right now. I'm just gonna let it grow out for the winter. And then I have an appointment in March before their birthday to get it done. So it'll be done for their birthday party at least. And I'm gonna do a photo shoot for their second birthday. And so it'll be done for that, hopefully. This vlog is all over the place. Basically what a mom does in her free time. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. I've got lots of laundry going right now. I have to pack for this weekend. This is the first time my boyfriend and I are going somewhere, like just the two of us. So it'll be fun. I hate brushing my hair, but I'm gonna straighten it today, so. Whenever I like do a TikTok and say I'm getting ready to go to dinner, we literally always go to the same place and it's like very low key. Like, like our friends own it and like, it's a very chill. So like sometimes when I go there, I literally like dress like a hobo and then sometimes I just decide that I wanna dress up. But tonight we're like actually going to like a real restaurant. And then I need my um, this stuff I was putting all over my face because it was like cracking. And it says you can, it's a lip balm. It's the drunk elephant little lip balm thing. But it says you can use it around your eyes too. Lip and eye balm. So I like, I was putting it under my eyes because I really dry and then right here. I did that. My face, you can just see how dry it is. Anyways, I need to do laundry, but there's not enough of it done yet for me to start folding. Oh, this house is such a mess. I'm gonna clean the kitchen quickly. I need to run to town and get a few things, but I also need to take these home shots pictures quickly. So we're gonna do that. I just have this corner so <laughs> And then I get overwhelmed. I'm not like, when I get overwhelmed, I just stop everything and 
lie down and then I don't get anything done. So that's my toxic trait, I guess. Okay, I took those pictures. And now let's clean up. I literally have not cleaned up since I filmed that ad yesterday. So love that. From my kitchen. Yeah. Kitchen, done. Check that off my list. The playroom, I don't even wanna look at. The living room, I don't even wanna look at. I think we're just gonna go run to Walmart quickly. Okay, I haven't gone to Walmart yet, but I'm hungry, starving actually. And I've had this tofu in the fridge for a while, so I think I'm gonna cook it. I think that's what we're gonna do. And I got an air fryer for my birthday. My boyfriend got me an air fryer, so I'll put it. Cook it in the air fryer and make orange tofu. I'm just gonna crumble this tofu. I'm literally just gonna crumble it up. Put some cornstarch on it and then air fry it. And then make a sauce and starch. I have it set for 12 minutes right now, but I'm just gonna check it and shake it. All that good stuff. And I wanna try and make an orange chicken sauce, so that's what we're gonna do. I have a little recipe that I'm gonna kind of follow. It's about half a cup. Syrup. Oh, this bottle's gross. A teaspoon of garlic. And then I have this avocado. Scout's like favorite thing ever is avocado toast. I'll let that cook for a second. This stuff is so good if you haven't tried it. It does not look good, but it's gonna taste good. Very good. Quick and easy lunch. 